Tim broke his plow. You see what he did? <laughs> Holy shit, gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's the, he broke the, 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 yeah. su <laughs> the su rear support right out. Where is it? It's in my truck, took it off. But you can buy these at Tractor Supply. I believe That's a so. universal part. Hey, did you fire up the sledge yet? Yep. Sledge is fired up. And good, good on fuel there, good on fuel in the Kubota. How's the ASV? Is that what I, you're I, in? I, I, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to run until whatever. I don't know what, where, what the other skid loader is sitting at. I think it was uh, a little above half that on the other the Kubota. Kubota. Uh, on the other Kubota. <sighs> We start as soon as we hit trigger depth, which is typically one to two inches, and we stop after the snow has stopped and all the lots are clean and clear. Minnesota, we're lucky enough to be able to get every kind of snow you can imagine from light and fluffy to thick, heavy, and wet. On today's storm, we had a long spell of super cold temperatures, which made the ground very cold, and then an odd warm up, which dumped thick, heavy, wet snow on top of it, but created a layer of ice as the snow fell and flash froze to the pavement meaning you're going to see us spinning a lot of tires in today's video. Button don't work anymore. The button gave up flight finally. Wait, what? <laughs> it's on. It, it, the button you can push it in any direction. It'll speed up, but it won't stop or anything. It won't turn off. <laughs> Are you joking? That thing's got to turn off. That's gonna scratch up the windshield once the snow stops. Dude, you're a liar. It, it loose Do we fire up? Do we fire him? He just lied to us. You heard it. You heard it. You guys are witnesses. What? What? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Give him a, pay, a deduction and pay till he learns better, you said. Wait a minute. I heard a couple of them say, Give him a deduction and pay till he learns better. <laughs> He's always one of the first to get here, and he lives the furthest away. An hour and a half. An hour and a half away, and he will be here. Show up. <laughs> And he's here before anybody else. You were here before me today. Yeah. Well, and I, I live 10 you minutes at away. Eight this morning. And, and, and what time do you want? If the second thing about him is he just starts blabbing, and you just kind of you pretend like you're listening, and you nod, and you say yeah, and he'll just keep talking. And you can walk away, and you can look, and he can be over by that light pole, and he thinks he's still talking to you. He thinks you still he still hears you, and you're like he's still working, as long as he's still working. All right, let's keep going.
Ugh. Timmy cracked his plow up bad. Oh, Timmy. Yep, I didn't think I hit the curb going that hard. I think I just hit it at... Dude. So I think this, when I backed into it, it was I was angled this way just a little bit. So this side hit the curb first and then it popped up. But what happened was it snapped. So it pulled this, this one broke, pulled it apart. And then this one got kind of bent in. So now you can see this frame right here. I can feel, you can kind of see how much closer that is to the bumper. And you can see the paint, the paint right here flaking. Uh. But where you can feel it, run your finger up inside that channel. Feel that bulge? Yeah. Okay. So there's the space. And you look at this side, there's more space. I don't know if you can see it on your side. I can see even this part is crooked. Yep. So Timmy got a phone call while he was plowing and before he knew it, he cracked his plow on a curb. It can happen to the best of us, but he got it back in operation. It's still not perfect. It's tweaked, but at least it's operating. Cause